What up, what up, people? Welcome, welcome. Yes, sir. It's your man's lettuce. Yes, sir. I'm here in uh, his house. Okay, in the studio, not in the house, but you get it. <laughs> you feel me? That's what's up. Yes, sir. On today's Let Us Live, what I'm going to be doing is going over the mix that I'm going to be doing on this beat that you guys hear right now. I'm going to clear it up and make it fit like it's supposed to within the pocket. That's what I'm doing. Yes, sir. So, again, we're doing some mixing today. So, format it. <laughs> format it. <laughs> How did that happen? A and O are completely different. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love my attention to detail. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, sir. That's it. It's coming. It's coming along. As you can hear, the beats are coming. So we're going to have to implement a few more instruments in the end, but that's fine. It's time to EQ these flutes.
Simply Laser in the house. Hey, 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 hey. How are you doing today? Hope you're feeling good. I'm feeling great. Yes, sir. Cut to 200. I'm cutting 200 hertz on this, just so y'all know. Anything below 200, I don't want. There we go. Here.
Thank you, thank you. I'm still doing some minor adjustments. There's one of the minor adjustments right there, which is, this is how the studio is supposed to look, you know. So that's a pretty good plus right there. Working on it. But yep, that's some of the look I was working on. That up. the purple is in the stew. From, I guess, work. <laughs> Call EQ and mix on there. This is going to be pretty dope. Oh, and I didn't have it on. Damn it. That was the end of the beat and I had it off. There it is. the whole beat yeah That's why, that's cool. Hey. Thank you for that cheer, that bitch. Thank you, thank you, Passionate Purple. In case you don't know, Passionate Purple is a gamer, streamer, maker, crafter. Check her out over at passionatepurple.tv, twitch.tv.
We got a couple of gamers in here in these crafters. Chat, I don't know who's where. <laughs> I gotta check the check the hot seat and see who's who's up in this joint. Shout out to Simply Lisa. She is a maker, gamer, and crafter as well. Check her out over at twitch.tv slash Simply Lisa. I'm putting more bass lines in, bass kicks, so we're gonna knock these kicks out. Oh, you're very welcome. I support everyone who supports me, you know?
41 in the house. What up, bro? How you doing, sir? How's the music coming, man? How's everything? Matter of fact, I was just talking about I gotta go get my hair did. <laughs> I get my hair done. Get these braids out and get the new ones in. That's what's up, man. That's dope. I've had a few gigs pop up on me as well, man. Yeah, Fleet DJ is dope, man. Fleet DJs are hella dope. I think I had an invitation from them a while back about five, three, four, five years ago before I was DJing. So I didn't take it, of course, because I wasn't DJing. I was like, how am I gonna, you know? But I didn't see the vision because I wasn't DJing. So when you're not in the field, you don't always see the big picture. Even though other people saw it, I didn't see it. Because that's not what I had in the cards for myself. So I'm not gonna see it, because that was not my plan to DJ. You know, I think a lot of knowing that what you have is knowing what you have and when you don't have it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up. Hey, that's how connects are made. That's how deals are made.
I think this turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to turn out. A hundred. I can't even lie about it. Damn, that crash is high. That motherfucker's banging. Sheesh. Jeez, that crash is on point. <laughs> Man, that, that is on fire, my crash. Ooh, I gotta EQ that down. That mad boy is killing it in my ear. Jeez. There we go. I'm digging it. That's cool. That seems to work out your schedule even better, right? Yeah, it's always good to have uh, an, a shift that doesn't just cut in the middle of your day because sometimes early in the morning is a lot and other times it's different, so I get it. A two in the afternoon or any, any type of midday shift after about 10 in the morning kind of ruins your day. Sometimes I like 11 to 7, you know, 10 to, 10 to 6, 10 to 7 was dope. But some just doesn't, nah, nah. It breaks the day at the wrong time. And it's the busiest part of the day sometimes. I'm like, nah, I can't do that shit. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you see I changed up the studio, right? You see how I got it looking now, right? That's just a way of life, bruh. We don't like people. People don't like us. Hey, it is what it ain't. As long as I can make this money without having to beat your ass for physical confrontation, I'm cool with it. I just learned how to maneuver out their way. 
because I don't want them around me anyway. You know that. Sometimes it's better to be quiet and just silent. Just do your thing. I've always had that problem when I go to work. Because when I go to work, I go to work to work. I didn't go to work to come here to talk about what's going on at home. I didn't come here to talk about what's going on with me and my girl or what's going on in my personal life with me and my family. I came here to get paid. Quiet. And there's a lot of times that I, when I went in, you know, just saying, you know, what the thing is, I go to work. I might see you guys anywhere from eight plus hours a day. After that, I want to go to fuck home and hang out with my people. I don't want to see you motherfuckers. I don't want to drink with y'all. I don't want to smoke with y'all. I don't want to hang out in a bar with y'all. I don't want to congregate with y'all after my work hours. You are considered a different set of friends. When you work with me, you cannot hang out with me. I will not hang out with you. I will not do overtime with you. Now this was in the past. That's always been my attitude. And when I say that, I mean that with the utmost respect. I will say hello to you every day, talk to you every day for those eight hours we are on work being paid because that is my job. That is my job description. <laughs> so now that that's my job description, I'm going to make sure I don't deviate from my job description. So you as an employer, or supervisor or whomever you are has no reason to think that I'm not going by the hand the official handbook that you handed me about my job description No off days for you, man. <laughs> that's funny bro I had this one dude that was like that he still ha tries to haunt me to this day too which is funny he found one day I was out with my mom eating and he found out at this point where my mom started hanging out so his punk ass started going up there where my mama hang out that shit, that shit pissed me off so bad. You don't even know. I was so pissed. I come up. My mom invites me to eat. And she's like, I met your friend Steve. I said, I don't have a friend named Steve. And I don't fuck with nobody named Steve. She said, well, he knows you. And he, he saw us up here one day and you ignored him. So he came over and made himself friendly. I said, well, what the fuck is wrong with you, mom? You just talk to fucking strangers and shit? What is your problem? 
I just, I went off, you know. <laughs> and this dude is a motherfucking hater. You are fucking right. This dude is a hater. And when this happened, he followed me from one position to the next position. And then they made me have to train him, which I didn't train him. And he had this irritating ass voice. And I just didn't like him. Because I knew he was a shady brother. And I never wanted to be around him no matter what. But he stuck to me like glue. And it pissed me the fuck off to where I got to the point to where I just quit working. I quit the job. Because I couldn't deal with the dude. But I got him fired first and then I quit. So it was fucked up. The dude was fucked up. It was a whole situation and a half, bruh. I'm telling you, it, bruh. It was one of those situations. Almost had to get the strap. Yeah, that's the work. How's this beat sound, shorty one? What kind of mood does it put you in mentally? <clears throat> I'm looking for a setting or something. How does it make you feel emotionally? I wrote this one for film and TV, I think on Thursday or Friday, maybe even Saturday, Saturday, no Thursday, Saturday, Thursday, Thursday or Friday, something like that. That's the goal, brother. I'm here. I'm the publisher. I'm here to get that going. The weed blog I've started, uh, as a matter of fact, let me um, show you some stuff. Um, let's see if I can get you to see this video that I recorded.
See that? That's actually one of the videos of the tree that, um, <laughs> I have to use uh, this video here, which I'm going to send over to the Mac. And uh, when I use the video, I'm going to make uh, the intro, and then I have to make a border. I haven't done it yet, but I know how to do it. And I've been trying to get settled in on the studio computer because I'm so used to using the Mac that I got to get used to the Mac as an on-the-go computer, not my studio go-to computer. And I'm having a real hard time breaking my habit of being on the Mac. So I've been trying to spend more time on the Windows computer because it's a lot, well, I ain't gonna say it's a lot bigger, but it's just, it's just a, a newer computer. It's up to date. I'm not saying that my Mac is not up to date, but there's some things I don't want to update on my Mac. That's all. All right, on shorty one. I'm glad you like it, man. Yeah, I'm trying to see what it sound like, you know? I'm trying to mix the beat out. You know what I'm saying? This is actually all one beat, bruh. It's literally two, it's one beat. Where'd you hear two beats at? Let's see. Let's start. Oh, that and the flutes. It's just a different kind of flute. Oh, that's what you mean, that was that. Yeah. Thank you. 
This part right here. This part is the second part of the beat. That's why it rolls off into a stinger like that. Just because of that. Yeah, I feel you on that one. I agree. And it is, but that's why it's at the very end. I had to sneak that in there real quick. Yes, sir. We got to save this one. This one's done. This one's called The Muse. It's dope.
Bulls. There it is, that sounds dope. Hey Shorty One, I, I already thought about breaking it down because it goes hard enough to be in two, three different parts. But that's what I want, I want it to be used in multiple scenes. That means I've done my job because it actually fits for multiple scenes. That's dope. That's the climax of the beat right there, bruh.
Can you feel that beat, bruh? I'm just wondering, can you feel it? Like, you understand where I'm going with it now?
I think that's going to be my weekly listen for this beat. That shit was hard right there. Let's see. I might be able to upload it. Play it right quick. See if I can get it uploaded. We would name this something like it's a, it's already called the muse but it's a dark somber mellow ominous flute dark flute something like that like maybe even trap flute i, I believe you know it's, it's one of those type of beats it's dark so it'll work you know don't really need a caption to it nothing like that but what we're gonna do is uh go make a that's pretty dope. What we're gonna do is go and make a uh, album cover for it real quick. <laughs> and uh, it's called the Muse. So let's find. Uh, who knows? <laughs> we got to figure out a picture what what can you use for the muse like what what i do my own artwork that's what's cold about it. I get, I got so many options and I got so much. I end up, I do all my own artwork, bro. For all my albums, all the covers that I've done, all of those, uh, I've been the one who's done all my artwork. I got a few sites um, that I use that's pretty fucking dope. You know what? This is going to be dope. Uh, I'm ready to go off on this one. I like it. Already, I like it. Oh, y'all want to see me do some album art? I'll do some album art right here live with y'all if you want me to. How about that? I make, I play a beat, I play some beats and I'll do uh, some album art at the same time. I don't care. <laughs> we'll put the auto, we'll put the, we'll put the auto mix on. How about that? And we'll just let the beats play until I get done. We're going to start out with Afro Riders.
I'm going to set up right now a, uh, a, a screen so y'all could actually see what I'm doing real quick on the other one. See that one, shorty one? I'm over here making my album art right now. This one's just for a single, so I'm just trying to throw a single out, you know.
See, there go a few, uh, there go a few, um, album covers right here that I've done. Some logos, stuff like that. That's a few of them. I got way more than that. Those are actually just uploads. Um, here go all of my designs, which here go some. This is the muse that's coming up. This is for the studio. Same thing, another song, the simple things. Uh, another logo for the studio or for me. This is an album cover. This was a spin off of that one. Um, this is another one. This is animated. As a matter of fact, it's just a lot of stuff on it. It's fucking dope. See, this one's animated. It's dope. I don't know how to make it play, but <laughs> it does this thing. Here goes one of my things inside the track, how I made this beat. Eloquently pissed, necessary roughness. This is a single. more albums right there shorty one you see him no free beats right there produced by no free beats <laughs> vibes from the soul in my bag 808s and beats Another album. I got the another album cover, R and Beats, Traveling Man Volume One, all of those. Pretty dope. It says a few. <laughs> yeah, a few, right? What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18.
All right, now it's time to let it go. I got it. The sound got lower because I, I tuned it over to the other side because I was talking. That's all. My bad. It's back. <laughs> As you can see right now, I'm uh, also uploading all of the in information, you know. We're going to put dark flutes, ominous. That. Trap. There's a few things to name it. I don't know what to name it, but we're going to name it all of those for right now, and it should work. And then we're going to upload the image I just made, which is the muse. And that's it. And now we're going to save it and call it a day. There it is.
volume. Sir, got it going. We got about 14 minutes left, and I'm offline, y'all. So peace.
<clears throat> I heard her bass kick out of spot. So what I have to do is now <clears throat> review it, which I'm doing right now, and replace it because it's in the wrong spot. Oh, that's the one. That's why. Cannot save track. You are going to sign in. Let's listen to it again. Whatever that problem was, we're ready to try it again. We're going to open up the Muse and we're going to redo it. I don't know why. Because it's in a different folder. Got it.
I'm at that two hour mark, y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for hanging. Get it in. Let's get it, people. You got a song you want to do? This is not a podcast, podcast radio. I'm your host, DJ Lettuce. Yes, sir. Get the strap. <laughs> peace, peace. Y'all have a good one. Yes, sir. Peace. Y'all have a good night.